How's it going, Pokemon fans? Shane here from Jolly Mons, and today we're going to take another look at Standard Gardevoir. The list has changed quite a bit with the release of Shining Legends and Crimson Invasion. Uh, I mean, not a whole, whole lot, but the pace of the deck has kind of changed a little bit. So, a couple weeks ago, we had the European International Championships where Broken Voir, whatever you want to call it, you know, made its debut. So, the main difference here is we're more inclined on this heal and stabilize game plan. So we're playing max potions. So we're not going to take as many just big one hit KOs. We're mainly looking to take two shots with less energy and then max potion off and keep repeating that process. So without further ado, we are playing four Rolts. The only difference is we are playing one Psychic Rolts and three Fairy Rolts. The main reason here is Registeel. Uh, Registeel donks Ralts if you have this really poor start or you leave it in there. Because Registeel, one steal, 30 damage, times two, you get donked. So we are playing the Psychic Ralts to kind of help with that. Now Ralts does have a Psychic Weakness. However, uh, Espeon GX is not seeing as much play right now. And Garbodor didn't do super well in the last big standard event. Though, it's definitely not something to sleep on, but if there's a point where they're attacking with a Garbodor, they're probably going to KO the Ralts anyway. So, And, of course, the three Fairy Ralts. Now, we are playing three Curlia, just so we can keep staging evolutions. We are playing one extra Curlia than we're used to, because we are playing an extra Gallade, and we don't want to rely as heavily on the rare candies. Now, on that note, we are playing two Gallade, mainly for the premonition ability once during your turn you can look at the top five cards of your deck and put them back in any order it goes really well with octillery and for a dce sensitive blade does 60 damage plus if you play a supporter card does 70 more so it does 130 for a dce almost every turn what this helps us with is zoroark is very big right now with a weakness to fighting and drampa is still a thing weakness to fighting and there's a couple other ones that i'm drawing a blank on off the top of my head but that lets us one-shot them for just a DCE. And four? No, three. Sorry, I'm blind. Anyway, three Gardevoir GX, that Secret Spring ability. Once during our turn, before we attack, we can attach a Fairy Energy card from our hand to one of our Pokemon. And then for one Fairy, does 30 damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. So, what's the, bleh, what this is going to allow us to do is if they have a high energy costing Pokemon up front, something like a Decidueye, something like a, I don't know, I'm drawing a point, a Drampa, whatever. Something that costs three energy. We don't need a whole lot of energy to take a knockout. So, you know, say they have Decidueye up front. He does have 240 HP, so that's kind of beefy. That's pretty hard to take down. But because he requires three energy, that's already 90 damage that we can account for plus the one we have to have to even attack. That's already 120 of our 240 that we need right there. So with that, we can use this max potion you know, idea to hit for 120, max potion, attach one more energy, 120, things of that nature. So we also have Twilight GX, one fairy, shuffle 10 cards from a discard pile into our deck. With this slower game plan, it allows us to take better use of Twilight and it not being so situational. So when we burn a lot of resources, pitch a lot of Guzmas, things of that nature, on when our opponent's, you know, resourced out or is having a slow turn, then we can in turn take that Twilight GX and put a bunch of our valuable resources back in. And we are playing three Tapu Lele for that Wonder Tag ability. When you play it onto your, onto your bench from your hand during your turn, you can search your deck for a supporter card, put it into your hand. So, it's Tapu Lele. We need to search for supporter cards. Energy Drive is kind of nice too. The attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. You're not going to attack with Lele often, but when you need to, it's there. It's a viable attack. Uh, we are playing one Vulpix since we are not playing Sylveon. Vulpix is just going to be there for this beacon attack. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon, reveal them, and put them into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. It's pretty nice. So. Now, there is also some super weird situations. Say you're playing against Volcanion, and I don't know, y'all are in this weird little stalemate thing where you don't have a Gardevoir out, 
you, they have a Volcanion stuck in the active they can't do anything with. Icy Snow with a Choice Band is a two-hit KO on a Volcanion, so that can always come up, but probably won't. Uh, then we are playing the one Remoraid, one Octillery line for that Abyssal Hand. Once during your turn, before you attack, you draw cards until you have five. Again, goes really well with Premonition, where you get to look at the top five, rearrange them in any order, and then draw up to f until you have five in your hand. Uh, next up, we'll go to the Supporters, where we're playing two Bridget. Search our deck for one basic EX or three basic Pokemon that are not EXs and put them onto the bench. Just helps us get set up. Almost every deck is playing Bridget nowadays. So most of the time we're going to grab two Ralts, maybe a Remoraid, maybe the Vulpix, depending on the situation. We might just grab two Ralts. It all depends on what we're looking at. Uh, we are playing three Guzma to switch your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active. If you do, switch your active with one of your bench. This just helps us take control of board state and take the knockouts that we need to take to win the game. Uh, 4N, each player shuffles her hand into his or her deck, and then draw cards for each of the remaining prize cards. N is great for us. With Octillery, in the late game, N doesn't even bother us. You, you N us down to 1, whoop de doo we N ourselves down to 1, whoop de doo we'll just draw till we have 5. And 3 Sycamore. Discard her hand and draw 7. Normally you're going to see higher Sycamore counts than N counts, but because of what I just explained with Octillery, with N, we're going to be playing a higher N count than Sycamore count. Uh, off to the items. We are playing two choice band just to help us give that extra damage. Does an extra 30 damage to your opponent's active Pokemon EX or GX. So that's going to help us hit good numbers. Uh, two field blower. Choose up to two and eight combination of tool cards or stadiums in play, both yours and your opponent's, and discard them. It's going to help us get rid of those pesky stadiums giving us issue, parallel city, things of that nature, and get rid of our opponent's float stones, choice bands, uh, shut off Garbo toxin, all that fun stuff. Uh, and of course, four match potion. Heal all damage from one of your Pokemon and then discard all energy attached to that Pokemon. This card is nuts right now. Especially with Gardevoir only needing one energy to attack and being able to attach extra energy to itself every turn. This card is absolutely nuts. Uh, four rare candy, of course. Choose one of your base Pokemon in play. If you have a stage two in your hand that evolves from that, put that onto the base Pokemon to evolve it. You can't use this card during your first turn or on a base Pokemon that's put into play this turn. So this just lets us go from Ralts straight to Gardevoir, Ralts straight to Galley. We just skip Curly all together. And we are playing two Super Rod, shuffle three in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy from your discard pile back into your deck. Now there can be an argument here for Rescue Stretcher instead. Uh, Christopher Shemansky was playing two Super Rod. So that's what we're going to roll with for this video. We're just going to roll with his list card for card and see if we can understand why he played what he played. Though, I've always preferred Super Rod over Rescue Stretcher in decks like this, just because it's going to let us get the energy back as well. And in a deck like this, where you almost always have to retreat turn one, or lose energy to Max Potion, I would much rather always be able to shuffle in those energies. And we have four Ultra Ball, of course. Discard two cards from your hand, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, put it into your hand. It just lets us go grab whatever we need. And last but not least, our Stadium of Choice. One Parallel City. This just helps limit our opponent's bench and kind of stop them from going crazy. Maybe it can stop them from being able to drop a Lele to get the supporter to make their hand not awful. Parallel City is just really good right now. And then our energy count. 4 DCE and 7 Fairy. So, that's going to be it for the deck profile, guys. I'll see you all in a few minutes when you check out the games that we play. And as always, stay jolly.